The goal of our research is to develop a cancer therapy method that is based on nanotechnology, has less side effects, is efficient and affordable. The main highlights of this paper is the fact that we were able to kill cancer cells by incubating them with magnetic nanowires and later apply a low intensity and frequency magnetic field. We can kill cancer cells using magnetic nanowires and magnetic fields and the treatment of only 10 minutes. And we can do that very efficiently with simple equipment. The principle is also very simple. The nanowires are exposed to a magnetic field that changes in direction all the time. And as the nanowire behaves like a compass needle, they follow the magnetic field direction and that causes them to vibrate. If those nanowires are in contact with the cancer cell, the vibration kills the cell. From this project, three master theses in our lab have been produced studying the different interactions between nanowires and either cancer cells or non-cancer cells. And the most recent master thesis is about how the cancer cells internalize magnetic nanowires. So as you can see, there's much to be done because uh, the field is very interesting and there's so many we still don't know. It's a totally different approach to commonly used radiation or chemical therapies. Those have uh, severe side effects and are very expensive. To give you an idea, an average cost for treatment right now is $10,000 per month only for the medication. Magnetic nanowires can be moved in a magnetic field to a specific location. That means we can place the nanowires inside the body. The magnetic nanowires can also be traced with magnetic sensors so we know where they are and we can kill cancer cells. And in order to do that, all we need are the nanowires. We fabricate them with an efficient method, electrochemically, and the magnetic fields, they are weak of low frequency, so what we require is only very simple, cheap, and small, compact equipment. In our research, we start from scratch fabricating the wires. The average number of nanowires per sample is 1 billion, or 110 to the power 9. The nanowires are the black area on the sample. The sample is left in a wet etching, that dissolves the substrate in which the nanowires are embedded. We characterize them magnetically and morphologically, then we release them and put them in solution. Once the nanowires are in solution, we wash them three to five times with ethanol, clean them very well to get rid of the traces of the etching. Cell structure and dynamics are partly controlled by different cytoskeleton fibers that can be thought as the cell's skeleton. We also have the cell membrane that is a highly fluidic barrier allowing the exchange of material between the cells and their environment. Within the cell membrane, there are lots of proteins that function as receptors. In particular, we show here the ones that are sensitive to mechanical stimuli. The nanowires will move randomly in the cell culture medium and eventually get in contact with the cells. Then, they are internalized by them. We have experimental evidence that this happens in our cells within one hour or even less time. Nanowires can get in contact with different membrane receptors or get inside vesicles if fully internalized. We resuspend the nanowires in complete cell culture medium, cells food, comprised mainly of salts and amino acids. We quantify them and finally we add them to the plated cells. After their settlement, the nanowires will start interacting with the cells we let them incubate for a while and we apply a low frequency and intensity magnetic field that stimulates the nanowires affecting some cellular processes. The cells are placed on top of the coil that produces a magnetic field that the cells perceive. This will cause the nanowires to vibrate and because they're in contact with the cells, it would trigger cellular processes that might lead to cell death. We have detected minor cell leakage which suggests the cell's membrane is minorly compromised in our trip. After a certain incubation time with the wires and 10 minutes of field exposure, we measure how the cells were affected with the nanowire field combination. For this, we use colorimetric or fluorescence cell assays. Finally, we measure some cellular features to test or to corroborate how much we affected the cells with the nanowire field combination. The ultimate goal of this proposed treatment uh, is to give it some specificity uh, that can be partially achieved by coating the nanowires with antibodies that target the overexpressed cell membrane receptors uh, you can find in cancer cells.